Oh, good morning, Flat Fam. Yeah, phone trouble, you know. You always get the shit. They get a new software update or hardware update. And then you fall. Yeah, sorry. Rough morning this morning. Anyway, you got all that new tech, all those creature comforts. Why do we want comfort? Why do we want comfort that's manufactured for us? You know, that's a big question. Why do we want to give our comfort? to other people's inventions like this cell phone or internet I buy my tobaccos etc we do that because we cannot produce all the things ourselves but is that true? Because we're stuck in this world where we have to pay taxes and health care and all that bullshit. If we don't pay taxes, who is going to make the roads and who is going to govern the city? Yada, yada, yada. It's all bullshit. We can organize ourselves and do all the things ourselves, but some people believe that God gave other people, governments, kings, rulers, a yeah, what do you do? green card to rule over the others as if they are more God gave that to every single one of us if you believe in God and with me I don't want to say I believe in God you either know something exists or you don't if you say you believe you're an idiot yeah. believe is something you make up you know, like women, you believe they're beautiful because they're makeup. Women are most beautiful in the early morning. But anyway, you have to figure out how that works. The Creator created us in His image, if the book is right then how can some have more than others, you know? They don't have more authority over the others. That's just a bullshit story that's written in by governments that published the Bible. You know, for example, the Romans or the King's J King James Bible or any other group that has social control. And it's the social control, the comforts they give us, that distract us. They say it's arrogance or whatever that I speak, but I don't. You know, if if I see an ant or a dragonfly or a mosquito, I respect that life. You know, I, I can hit a mosquito in, in anger because I'm frustrated. But I can also, and this does happen, 
put it on my hand or catch it with my hand and let it free outside. And that's not because he can sting someone else, you know, I'm not that vindictive. But it's a life. And most people don't give a shit about life. The only life they give about is the people they know and who's in their social club, you know. Like football teams. They're our boys. No, they're not. You didn't give birth to them. That's bullshit. Those are manufactured feelings by the social controllers. They've been here all along and they have got nothing to do with creation. They have all to do with religion. You can have your religious ideas, no problem. But you cannot have institutions that dictate your belief or your religion, or your knowledge. Your knowledge is yours, not anyone else's. Your beliefs are yours, not anyone else's. But if someone else plants that in your brain, is that yours? People have to figure that out. Whatever's written, maybe accounts of history or fantasies that have similarities, you know. I hear people say, well, the Bible is right. Yeah, sure. I can write a book. I can take some historic events, put them in there, put some facts in there, some natural facts and say, well, my book is right. See, the earth is flat. The sun shines. The moon has a silver glow. See, my book is right. But the emotional messages I can write in can be totally manipulative towards a goal. For instance, if you have David and Goliath, I can only write the side of Goliath and not of David. I don't give a shit about David. You know, maybe Goliath was the righteous one and David was just an asshole who wanted to pick on one of the last standing giants. You don't know all the details of the stories. They play on your emotions. So, try to learn to find your own facts, to find your own truth. Truth is based on facts, not on books written by others. Facts you see with your own eyes, your own senses. That's how you have been created. And if we're just some idiotic Big Bang creation, well, maybe that's just pure coincidence and then the Bible is just man-made. You know that. Anyway, gotta go. See you later.